Elscott Heath is the royal setting for the King George and Queen Elizabeth Festival Stakes, Britain's richest ever race. And gracing this, the greatest occasion in British racing history, Her Majesty the Queen and Princess Elizabeth. Not today the garden party atmosphere of Royal Ascot, but Britain's racing enthusiasts hoping to see homebred horses withstand a great French challenge. Over at the start, there's trouble to get the field into line. But now, they're off. The best 19 horses in Europe, racing over one and a half miles for a £25,000 prize. And it's number four, Lord Davis Mosborough, who sets the early pace. Round the last bend, and it's Mosborough still in front, with Colonist the second about to make his run. Derby winner, Arctic Prince, is third, with Supreme Court and Zuccaro well placed. And the Princess spurs on her favourite. Now a huge cheer as Mr Churchill's gallant grey colonist goes to the front and looks like the winner. No, here's a double challenge from Supreme Court number 14 and Zuccaro number 17. They're both passing game colonists. A thrilling run in between the two gallant horses spurred on by veteran Charlie Elliott and young Lester Piggott. And it's victory for Supreme Court by three quarters of a length from Zuccaro with the great French challenger Tontiam six lengths behind. So the horse that no one would buy at a yearling sale and which was made a wedding anniversary present to Mrs. T. Lilly becomes the champion of Europe. A great moment indeed for the owner as she receives the congratulations of the Queen. While Mr Churchill, proud of colonists' gallant efforts so soon after his grueling Gold Cup race, waves to the crowd. While the Queen and Princess Elizabeth were leaving the scene of a great British